practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Schooner while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit that sub button. You understand me? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. Alright. We a week away from that Bronco pack, man. <sighs> One week away. It's, don't y'all feel like it's been forever? Don't you like it's been, it's been a long off season, man? We done gone through. We done gone through the freaking draft process, free agency. We done gone through uh, training camp. We done gone through everything. Rookie mini camps, preseason. And it's finally here. It's like Christmas for grown men. You know what I'm saying? NFL Sunday for the next 21 weeks is Christmas for us adult folks. You know what I'm saying? It's Christmas. No matter what the Giants record is, just having football as a whole is like Christmas. It really is. With that being said, like Christmas, there's always something bad that comes along with it. And there's a whole lot of Grinches out there trying to steal the joy of us Giants fans. Now, I understand what Kenny Galladay said. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But that's Kenny Galladay's job. Kenny Galladay's job is to temper expectations. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, what af how often do you see an athlete come out and say, yeah, we're going to drop 35 a game? How often do you see that? Of course, Kenny Galladay is not going to come out here and say, yeah, man, we're going to drop 35, 40 points a game. Saquon Barkley, you can see it in his eyes. You can see it in that little smirk he gives every time he talks about his um recovery process. He can't come out here and say, oh, yeah, I'm about to rush for 100 yards out the gate. I feel like a million bucks. He can't say that. Temper expectations. You know what I'm saying? Joe Judge don't want them saying stuff like that. So it's like, I hate how people get nervous about Saquon because he's saying cliches to the media or they take Kenny Galladay's comments out of hand and think that the offense is going to stink out the gate. Life don't work like that. Not on my channel. You understand? We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. This offense is going to be just fine. Okay, I know we're facing a top five defense the first week, but I don't give a damn. At the end of the day, the Giants have legit ballers. Okay, this offense ain't based on no scheme. God knows it ain't based on scheme because freaking the redhead Jason Garrett is, is the freaking coordinator. So you know it ain't based on scheme. We based on pure talent. Saquon Barkley, talent. Galladay, talent. Tony, talent. Daniel Jones, whether you believe it or not, raw talent. We going to go out there and we just going to get shit done. All right. We didn't sign Kenny Galladay because he's Marvin Harrison or Reggie Wayne running the routes. We signed Kenny Galladay because he going to go get that ball like Mike Evans and Megatron. That's why we signed him. It don't matter if it's two people over there. Kenny Galladay, he going to come down with you. We got Kadarius Tony. Guy can take a bubble screen 70 yards. Okay, Sterling Shepard is the best slot receiver in the NFL. Yeah, I said it. He the best slot receiver in the NFL. And Daniel Jones, I promise you, he gonna shut a lot of people the F up going into this season, man. He gonna shut a lot of people up. This kid, Daniel Jones, is amazing. He makes throws that only Aaron Rodgers and Mahomes can make on a regular basis. He just gotta cut out the dumb shit to go with it but Evan Ingram ain't playing so long as Evan Ingram ain't out there that's 
50% of Daniel Jones' bad plays, number 88 somewhere in the damn picture. So we now that we ain't got to worry, just, just not having Evan Ingram on the field by itself it just increases the odds that the offense balls from day one. We don't need to rely on no damn defense coming out the gate. We got firepower out there. We got the best running back on the planet. Healthy. <laughs> Do y'all understand the firepower that's on this Giants team? I hate when I scroll through Twitter and people talking about some, oh, because the offense didn't practice together through training camp. They not go. I don't want to hear that shit. Giants fans, let me ask y'all a question. Because I'm annoyed on trigger. I'm frustrated. Daniel Jones played one half of football in the preseason. So if he had all his starters with him for that one half, is it going to make that big of a difference? The guy plays one half the whole damn offseason. He plays one half. Isn't it? Y'all act, like, act like Daniel Jones played all three preseason games like Mahomes and, and Mac Jones did, and he didn't have the starters out there. Then, oh, you know what? Fine. But the fact of the matter is, he's played one more half of football than Saquon, Gallaudet, and Tony. You don't think these guys are practicing the, their asses off the next two weeks? They'll have plenty of time to get... First of all, Daniel Jones and Saquon have played with each other before. Let's not act like... Oh my gosh, I can't stand when people say dumb shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like Daniel Jones ain't never handed the ball off to Saquon Barkley. Come on, man. All Kenny Galladay got to do is just be Kenny Galladay. Don't drop the ball. Go up and get it. Kadarius Tony. Everything you do going to be at the line of scrimmage any damn well. All you got to do is shake, bake, rattle, and roll like you did in the highlights from Florida. Stop overcomplicating this. We don't play. We don't got the Patriots offense. This ain't the Kansas City Chiefs offense. We, we, we ain't running rocket science out here. This is Jason Garrett's offense. Kenny Galladay go over the top. Tony run across the route and freaking... Um, Shepard, you run a damn option route in or out depending on the damn coverage. And in tight end, you run you run a damn option route depending on the cover. It's as simple as that. Tight, listen, uh, Kyle Rudolph, you gonna you go you gonna either gonna run an in route or out route like Jason Witten did. Saquon Barkley, you're gonna block, and if there's nobody in the, there's, if there's nobody else rushing, you're gonna run out on a delay route. You're gonna catch the ball. Daniel Jones wants to check it down. On third and short, we're going to run like four or five curls. This is not complicated. This is Jason Garrett's offense. And when we get inside the red zone, we're going to run play at, no, not play at, we're going to hand the ball to Saquon five to seven times until he ram his ass in there because it's Jason Garrett's offense. We will be fine. Okay? Let's not act like this is, uh, I'm not going to do this. It's Sunday. This is, uh, It's Sunday. This is my last Sunday. To not be stressed. Even though it's Christmas, even though I love football, between betting, fantasy, and just rooting, just being a fan of a football team, I will be stressed the next 21 days. But it's a good stress. I wouldn't trade that stress for nothing in the fucking world. But at the end of the day, the whole purpose of this video is to simply say this the offense will be fine. 24, 24 and up on the Broncos. 24 and up on the Broncos. Yeah, I said it. 24 and up on Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, Patrick Sertain. 24 and up on the Broncos. You know the vibes. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.